If you are a keen sports player and enjoy your ball games, or love catching fast ball with your bare hands, then you probably have seen some of these finger injuries. Yes, they look gross. And yes, they are bloody painful too. If you or your friend have had this injury, or a much worse version of it, this video is for you. We will talk about the anatomy, the structures damaged, and how to treat them including surgery. Finger dislocation typically involve a sudden, heavy force to the tip of the finger, or in this case, the thumb. This cause damage to the ligaments that help to stabilize the joint, such as the collateral ligament, accessory ligament, or the volar plate. The injury can range from a simple sprain of the ligaments to a complete dislocation, and worst of all, dislocation with broken bone. Therefore, it's always recommended to x-ray your finger injury to look for fractures. If this injury is not treated properly, the finger can become very stiff and painful to move with early development of arthritis. This patient's little finger has been dislocated for several years. It looks deformed and does not bend. The joint is locked in the dislocated position and the collateral ligaments on either side are loose and gives way. The key of treatment is early reduction and splinting. In cases where there is fracture or ongoing instability, surgery may be indicated. Reduction starts with local anesthetic injection to numb the finger. This reduces pain and muscle spasm to make reduction easier. Next, the finger is bent back slightly to unlock the dislocation, followed by pulling the finger straight with traction. Sometimes you can feel the finger popping back during the pulling. This part can take some time. Finally, feel to make sure the step is gone before bending the finger back down. A simple finger splint can be put on over the joint for a few weeks to allow ligament healing. At three to four weeks, we can commence hand therapy to reduce swelling and stiffness. Sometimes if the joint remained unstable, surgery may be required to repair the damaged ligament. The surgeon opens up one side of the joint to find the ligament often detached from the bone. The ligament is then repaired by an anchor placed in the bone with sutures around the detached ligament. This is a fairly straightforward surgery that takes six to eight weeks to gradually heal. I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave comments below.